Joint Exposure Analysis. So if I click here, um, it'll actually run through every tracker in the layout and it'll define it according to its wind exposure. So it'll, if it's an interior tracker, an exterior tracker, if it's, if it's exposed to the south, exposed to the north, if it's a partial tracker exposed to the south and the north, it'll actually do that analysis and it places this as an attribute uh, on the tracker itself. So if you do properties on the tracker, it'll give you um, an actual property value that tells you whether it's exposed south or exterior. Or okay, I'm going to go back to the top-down view and unisolate the layer, and I'll show you the next step, which is to click the peer analysis button. The software will ask you to define the tallest peer height you wish to use for the project, the shortest peer height that you can allow, as well as the maximum tracker angle that the tracker can tolerate. The algorithm will then go through the layer peer by peer and try to adjust some peers to be higher and some peers to be lower to maintain the tracker at less than the specified angle. If there's no possible solution, the algorithm will flag those trackers in red. Trackers that can be built within the specified tolerance are flagged in blue. Now, if I want to, I can rerun the peer analysis using different tolerances. Let's try allowing taller peers and increasing the tracker angle a smidge to see if it helps us get more trackers onto this very hilly terrain. As you can see, it helps a little bit, but it's still a lot of red trackers that can't be built on this extreme topography. Let's imagine we have some kind of all-terrain tracker that can go up to a 45 degree angle on the slope. We'll see if we can get it to pass. So you can see that does the trick. I'm not sure if anyone manufactures a tracker that can actually handle that extreme amount of slope, but if they could, you could do this entire extremely hilly terrain with trackers without having to break. Uh, the last thing I'll show you is you can export all of the peer information and, and tracker um, information in terms of locations and angles. Click this, uh, this second button. I can export everything to a CSV file. I'll open that in Excel to show you. It gives you every uh, every table in the layout. It's X and Y coordinate, both in geo coordinates of latitude and longitude as well as coordinates of the drawing. And then every peer, it gives you coordinates of the pier as well as the height of the surface, the earth under that pier, the pier height itself, so how far the pier is above, and the angle of the table with respect to horizontal for every table in that layout or every track in that layout.